Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's first question is In the following pair of plant cells indicate the one that would have the more negative water potential Variant A – cell walls of root xylem vessel elements and B – cell walls of parenchymal cells in leaves In order to answer this question you even don't have to know how xylem vessel elements looks like or for example parenchymal cells in leaves Everything you have to pay attention to root and leaves. Now I want you to take a look at this picture. So what do you see here? Here's a tree and water first come to the root system, then to the trunk or stem of this plant and then to the branches, to the leaves and would be evaporated from the leaf surfaces. Water potential of the pure water is zero and if water have some impurities or solids we say that such water have negative water potential and this negative water potential is a driving force how trees or plants get water from the soil so in order for trees to get water from the soil water potential have to be smaller than that of the soil for example in the soil water potential of the root system is minus 0 0.33 but in order for the water to go from the root system to the trunk, water potential of the trunk have to be more negative than that of the root system. In our case, minus 0 0.8. So this is going to be driving force. And in the leaves, which on the lower branches, such water potential have to be, for example, minus one megapascals. And the higher we go, the more negative water potential have to be. For example, at the air water potential, we consider about minus 100 megapascals or can be 160 megapascals. Also depends on the humidity of the air. The lower humidity of the air, then the more negative water potential of the air. Now, as you see, according to our question, in the following pair of plant cells indicate the one that would have more negative water potential. In the leaves, water potential always going to be more negative than in the root system. So hence our choice variant B. And second question, which would have more negative water potential in normal moderately saturated soils, root cortex cells or moist soil. Take a look, when soil is dry, its water potential would be much lower than that uh, which we can find in the root system. And theoretically, in this case, water have to go from the plant to the soil. But this doesn't happen because plant or tree has special system that protects us from losing water. But if soil is moderately wet, water potential in the root system would be much lower than that of the soil and this is exactly how this mechanism works water would be taken from the soil into the root system due to more negative water potential of the root system then would go to the trunk because water potential would be even lower here even lower in the branches and even lower in the leaves and even lower in the atmosphere starting with water potential which is smaller than negative one and ending with water potential that uh, equals to minus 100 megapascals. This is huge driving force that moves water. So our choice is going to be answer A. In the root cortex cells, water potential would be much more negative than in the wet soil. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.